Yeah, Melanie, she wasn't fooling around. When we met her, she had a gun right in her pocket. This is where she saw those three men from inside her dining room and kitchen right here. They didn't know what to do when they were caught looking down the barrel of her revolver. Isabel Frazier likes to start her day by reading the paper. Her ritual, though, yesterday interrupted. I heard this one knock on the door. Someone broke into her home back in 1986, and ever since, she's been more on edge. She says she looked out the dining room window to see a vehicle out front, some of the doors wide open. She sees someone then come back, stuffing something in his pocket, and then says they drove off. She ran to her bedroom. Pull the drawer out in a hurry. I take this out, drop it down. I, drop, I dropped it on the bed, pitched it on the bed. I did have my finger on the trigger. As she returned to the living room, she saw somebody then by the back kitchen window. And I headed towards the fence, and I thought, oh, I see the tops of two more heads out there. So she followed her instinct. I leaned over like this, and I went, and when I did, I alerted him, and boy, he looked up. Could you and, see it in his eyes? Oh, yeah, I was eye to eye to him. He and, knew, right? Pardon? He knew, right? Oh, there wasn't any doubt when he saw this gun pointed right at him. Fraser says they jumped and ran. They piled into the SUV, they backed into her driveway and took off. This 86-year-old grandmother of six, great-grandmother of three, is also a breast cancer survivor. She says she did what she had to do, and she'd do it again. For a description of those suspects and how you can help if you recognize them, look for this story at abc13.com. Kevin Quinn, 13 Eyewitness News.